It's about quality safety and result. ICMS, International Quality Assurance, Board Certified Physician Specialists, Maximizing Health Potentials. It's all about quality of life. Well, I was a little worried because after, I don't know, 30 years, well, my, my age, actually, uh, I realized that she was suffering from some kind of um, a congestion in, in her throat mm -hmm. and it was very hard for her to, to, uh, to swallow, mm -hmm. you know? that was not easy for her to, to do and at some point I got a little worried. However, I just, well, uh, neglected that and, well, kept on uh, going, but uh, little by little uh, things seemed to be a uh, Complica uh, complicating you know, and we're involving like uh, I don't know not dramatically but gradually mm -hmm. uh, until the point where we uh, noticed that she was suffering because ev every uh, every uh, swallow or everything she would eat uh, what well, she ate she would uh, vomit you know, and that was really terrible uh, about six to five years ago, uh, well, things were really serious because it was very hard for her to swallow and to, to eat. And uh, then one of my brothers at the time lived in Mexico City, so we were there and uh, my mother, well, decided to take advantage of that service. And after certain studies, she was diagnosed with uh, scleroderma. Which is a very well at that time we, we just didn't know it was just another word, a strange word for us because it's not, it's not a common word. So we only well we started doing some research on the internet and trying to read more and well based on the doctor's uh, explanation, well we learned that uh, it was a very serious problem you know, and that uh, this disease would complicate everything, her liver, her kidneys and her heart. So we were really, really shocked. You know, we, we, you know, we just didn't know what to do. Uh, one of the doctors who was a, a, a friend of my brother's just told us, well, you know, you really need to, to take this seriously and you have to take care of your mom from now on. He uh, was diagnosed this scleroderma, this well, new word. We just, uh, I mean, got shocked. We just didn't know what to do. And everything just uh, passed. You know? She was in, she, uh, fell ill uh -huh, and uh, she was in hospital and vomiting, I mean, uh, literally vomiting blood and ulcers and I mean like uh, 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 wastes of blood. You know? So it was, it was terrible and we, we just knew that probably that was the end until we were given doctors a uh, uh, ablitz uh, reference by Mr. B, Dr. Villegas, and well, that's how we learned about her. And well, she has been our, well, my mother's lifesaver. Took to IMS, it took, took, they took her to IMS and see what doctors say, and just to control, to control. And to every doctor, I remember in very critical time, they would say, Oh, you know, um, are you a family member? Yes, okay, uh, I'm sorry to, I regret to tell you that, well, you have to be prepared for any. A tragedy because well your mom is really really uh, uh, is seriously ill and there's nothing we can we can do and just uh, that happened probably three or four times you know, before we met uh, Dr. Abley. After uh, we met Dr. Abley we felt and um, well together uh, we felt much uh, relieved uh, we thought that there was someone who could enlighten us with some uh, help, you know, and that she was willing to, to help. And we just didn't matter about money or anything. We just uh, cared about the, the health, the quality of help that she gave us, you know, that she would give us, actually. We felt uh, really hopeful.
who felt really hopeful. Her temper really changed. She was all the time dreaming of, oh, I, I feel I'm going to get better. I feel I'm going to recover. I'm going to get over it. And that's, and that's that was probably one year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. Oh well, uh, after the implant of right. the, the yeah, operation. Yeah. Oh well, uh, first of all, we were really happy. We were really hopeful. We just there was no room for us to doubt that we were. Uh, I don't know, ripped or something like that, that we were deceived. Uh, we felt really uh, hopeful, my mother too. And uh, well, we realized that she was uh, improving her health little by little, little by little, until she uh, she was like, a, I don't know, probably. She was gaining weight, gaining weight, and she was uh, more a I don't know, a, in her eyes, it was that bright that, well, we all know about. And the skin. Yeah, in her skin, yeah, in her skin was with a, a much more color, no? Yes, obviously, more natural. No? Because my mother is, uh, well, you know, a little bit darker than, than my, my skin, probably. But that's, that's natural, I mean, that's normal. But obviously, I guess she recovered in short time, her color. No? skin color, the tone, yeah, we, we experience that. How about her, her swallowing and... Uh, oh, well, that stopped, know. definitely. That stopped. Uh, I don't know how, but, well, we know, but obviously uh, Dr. Abbott was really, well, really helpful, really human, and we experienced that from watching my mom recovering and just gaining weight, precisely that, gaining weight, uh, her um, strength increased you know, in such a way that she could uh, get involved in her political uh, issues. That, that was really important. Have you seen continued improvement? Yes, yes. Well, actually, now it's probably perceptible because we, um, she's moving all the time. She's like doing that, and yeah, but for sure, almost like in the old good times when she was young. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but she's younger than, than me now. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I'm getting through some kind of cold. After that, yeah, you can. Estoy haciendo planes para ir a una diputación federal. Oh, <laughs> and she's planning to run for, for, for the Congress. <laughs> okay.